Hi friends, my name is Dmitry and I'm here to tell you about the new coloring soap paste Zeni Color 5. I will also show you how to use the colors and explain more about the features they provide. Let's look at our product. The packaging includes information in three languages and QR codes which link to the Zeni Mixer application available on Apple Store and Google Play. I'll explain more about the application later. Each box contains five separate tubes of color and a mixing guide card. The card is made of plastic, which is washable and reusable. The main features of these colors is they are absolutely non-bleed and they maintain the transparency of the soap base. With any color 5, you can easily make your soap any color you wish. Now I'll show you how to use Denny Color 5. We'll need a 100 grams of pre-prepared melted soap. I can now begin to make a single color soap. I've chosen to make it yellow. Open the tube, take a mixing guide card and squeeze out 2 cm of color onto the card. Add it into the soap base and stir carefully. Then pour it into the mold. Or spray with alcohol and wait until it solidifies. Every tube contains 85 to 90 centimeters of the color and you can easily estimate how many soaps you can make with one set. Next, I want to create more complicated color, orange, mixed from two colors. I need to go to zenicolor.com and navigate to the color finder section. I find the orange color in the color matrix. I see that the orange can be made from yellow and purple and the yellow must be twice the amount of the purple. Now I squeeze out 2 cm of yellow and one of purple onto the card. Then drop it into the soap mix and I've got the perfect orange soap and the thickness of the soap is 2 cm and I can see right through it. Now I'll explain how to be consistent with the colors. The principle is the thicker the soap, the less color, the thinner the soap, the more color. Now I take 50 grams of soap base and again add 2 cm of yellow and 1 cm of purple. Stir and pour. You can see the thickness is now 1 cm but the color looks same as the last soap. If the thickness of your soap is 4 cm and you need to get the same orange, what's the proportion? Again, 2 cm yellow and 1 cm purple, but now per 200 grams of soap. Never try to add too much colorant. Actually, 4 cm is always more than enough. You will not get better color by adding 6 cm. Next, I'm going to color a white soap base, as the white base is not transparent and contains titanium dioxide, more colorant is required to increase the intensity. To reduce the need for too much colorant, just mix white and clear soap bases together beforehand at a ratio of 1 to 1. This reduces the amount of titanium dioxide in mix and allows the color to show more intensely. I'll make two samples. One is a mixed base with 4 cm of violet and the other is a white base with 4 cm of violet as well.
You can see the, the difference. The first sample has a more intense color with the same volume of colorant. Next, I'll explain how to use the Freeze Any Mixer application. Once you have installed this application on your smartphone or tablet, please read the manual. The application will not work with all the operating systems, so please check this out first. Now go to the mixer guide. You will see the mixing guide card and the three base colors. If you move them using the slider, you will see the result at the top. Once you have your chosen color, save it. You are now ready to mix the color in reality. Bear in mind the thickness of the soap layer. You will notice that uh, the sample given is for 100 grams of soap base with 1 cm thickness. You can also choose a color from the library and use it or modify and then use it. And on the top right corner you can see the reset button with the help button below. Now we make a more complicated color from the library, let's say khaki. Once prepared, drop and steal and pour at an angle into the mold. Once the soap solidifies, return the mold to an upright position, then pour in clear soap base. This will show a graduated color and it illustrates the dependence of layer thickness and intensity of shade. And remember, it will never bleed. That's it for today. See you next time.